Hello, my name is Shannon Kringen, and you are watching Goddess Kring. And I am in Seattle. It is August of 2015. I am 46 years old. I am a multimedia artist. I've done video and spoken word and performance art. I work as a figure model for artists in Seattle for the last 23 years. I did a public access television show for 15 years called Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring is a name, a nickname that I gave myself. Um, I'm going to actually do a web page and a video that explains what Goddess Kring means and how I came up with that and who is Goddess Kring. Uh, I've been thinking lately about doing a video about narcissism as being a form of insecurity actually. People think that a narcissist is somebody who thinks they're better than other people. I think what it really is for me is a form of... I have kind of an insecurity and a, and a, and a focus on myself because I'm afraid if I let that go I won't be safe. I wrote a book called Art, Identity, and the Sacred. I self-published this book. It has self-portraits as well as portraits of animals and landscapes. And, you know, I'm a multimedia artist, so this is a book that I published. And there's a movie coming out called Channeling Yourself. And I was recently mentioned on the Dory Monson Cairo radio show, which I'm happy about, and then KUOW radio did a blog post as well as a radio webcast about a movie coming out called Channeling Yourself about public access television, the golden era of the 90s. And this is my calendar for 2015. See, a portrait I took of myself underwater with a waterproof camera in the Bahamas, my classic uh, face paint that I like to do, and a Photoshop, what I had, I did Photoshop with this, with face paint on. This is myself reflected in a puddle in Norway, Oslo. I wanted to read about channeling yourself, and this is my tattoo, which means be yourself no matter what they say that I designed myself. You can go to channelingyourself.com for more information on the documentary. Here it is. Channeling Yourself. The documentary about public access coming in 2016. Seattle in the 90s was not only the flashpoint for musical revolution, but the home to a vast community of creative thinkers. Nowhere was this more true than on public access television. Anyone could create a TV show for free, a digital soapbox to exercise First Amendment rights on an uncensored channel. But this freedom came with a price. As programs became more extreme by incorporating nudity and controversial content, the channel came under attack from the public, the city, and even Congress. Um, let me see. Public access paved the way for today's social media, but the rise of YouTube may have rendered public access obsolete. Channeling Yourself will feature interviews with the creators of Goddess Kring, Queen's Kitchen, Mike Hunt, Deface the Nation, Brody and Tana, Fulfilling Your Fantasies, Heart Attack Theater, Cool Out TV, Northwest Week, Spud Goodman, and many, many more. The amazing culture that existed back when back then was ahead of its time and still can inspire us to channel ourselves even now. So you can go to channelingyourself.com for more information on the full feature-length documentary that I'm part of. I am Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, and there's lots of interesting things happening. I am going to go to England in October of 2015 to visit some friends, and I will make interesting videos and photos and blog about it. If you go to shannonkringen.com, that's where everything is linked. I wanted to share with you that I actually burned off 45 pounds by going gluten-free, grain-free, and wheat-free. Here's kind of what I look like now. This is the leaner me here in my bikini. <laughs> this is what I look like now. I'm 46 years old, and I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a lot of water, I eat healthy, I exercise, and I'm grain-free, and uh, I'd like to get even leaner, but 
that's what I am right now. There's where I'm at right now. I'm 46 years old. I just wanted to catch up with you guys. I might want to make some videos that are about uh, narcissism. I, I'm actually open to questions and comments. Do you want me to do a video about racism and what I think that means? I can do a video about... Like if you have certain questions that you want to ask me actually, maybe I could read questions from viewers and do specific videos that are in response to these questions. So thank you for watching. I am Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen, multimedia artist, and maybe read some of my poetry. I do music and poetry, photography, shoe painting, figure modeling, stream of consciousness monologues, etc. Thank you for watching Goddess Kring and my message is be yourself, authentic ejaculation of your soul, Molten orange liquid glow, anger takes its toll, and it's better to just indulge in the melancholy glow. <laughs> now, I, I write a lot of poetry in a musical kind of way, and I love Tom Petty and Tori Amos and lots of other musicians. I got a text, I gotta go. And also my love life is very happy. I'm dating somebody, I don't want to say anything about him because he's very private, but let's just say that I'm happy in my love life right now dating somebody for about nine months or something like that and uh, my cat Stella passed away and I have a new cat named Kisun and I'm just happy and grateful for the many blessings. So please do more of what you love. Be yourself no matter what they say. And I'm probably going to vote for Bernie Sanders just to let you know. Thank you for listening. ShannonKringen.com and channelingyourself.com is the documentary that's going to be coming out in 2016 about public access television. There's also another short documentary called Typecast Dragon. After my poem, Typecast, my dragon sleeps, monkey moon coming soon, phases of seeing the gray balloon. So it's a short documentary that screened at the Toronto Film Festival and the Seattle Film Festival, and it is called Typecast Dragon. Just Google that. You can watch it for free online. So thank you. ShannonKringen.com is my website with all my art linked to it. Thank you so much. I'm open to questions and comments. Thank you. Namaste.